What's up everyone, I'm Jesse Kazam and welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, we're going to be going over three underrated keys in Escape from Tarkov. There's tons of locked rooms, there's tons of loot in Escape from Tarkov, and if you're struggling for cash, having a few rooms you know you can hit that you can get some good stuff from is always super helpful. Now, I stream Escape from Tarkov a few days a week and all my links will be down below. We'd love to have you stop by, say hey, chat for a little bit, um, and just hang out, ask questions even. Uh, there's also a Discord that we have where you can ask questions, get help, or even find some people to raid with. With. But with all that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So just want to start off this with a disclaimer. Obviously, these are not the most profitable keys in the game. Uh, and that's kind of the point of this video. You know, the most profitable keys in the game and the most profitable loot rooms um, have a the most expensive keys. I mean, there's there are keys up to over 20 million rubles for that key in Escape from Tarkov with like the red key card. Um, and then not only that, if you, if you find one of those keys and don't have to pay for it, those rooms are often the most contested, which means you'll find a lot of players also going there. Uh, and there's a high chance that you might die trying to get that loot out. So, you know, these, these definitely aren't the best keys in Escape from Tarkov. These are ones that I have found pretty decent loot in and that the keys are relatively cheap, um, respectively, if you haven't uh, found them or if you don't know about these rooms. So the three keys that we're featuring here are the... Uh, key to the HEP station storage. This is a shoreline key. Uh, at the time of this recording, you can find it on the flea market for about 175,000 rubles. Um, you know, you'll see that you can make that and more back in one run if you get a good run, uh, which means this key is really easy to pay off and worth it if you have the cash. Uh, the RBSMP key, which is only about 100,000 rubles. I've seen it up to 150, 140,000, but right now it's about 100,000 rubles. This is a reserve key. Uh, once again, there's some pretty cool spawns in there. You can easily make that money back quickly. And then I'm counting these two as one key, but it's the cottage and the safe inside the cottage on shoreline. The reason I'm counting them as one key is because the cottage gets you into where the safe is and there's other loot in the cottage. Um, the cottage back entrance key is 28,000 rubles and the safe key is 23,000 rubles. So combined for just over 50,000 rubles, you get to loot this house that nobody ever loots on shoreline. So I'm kind of counting that as one key ish for the video. Um, but with that out of the way with like what the keys are and, um, what the prices are, let's go ahead and look at, you know, what you can potentially get out of these rooms. So the first key is the key to the HEP storage facility, which is here on Shoreline. Uh, it's located in the top floor of the power station here. Um, the power station is located right smack dab in the middle of the map. Uh, a few things to worry about. There's normally a sniper scav that's up top there. And then a few other scavs will normally spawn around here as well. Um, there's scavs, so you will get some conflict. And it is right in the middle of the map. So you might find some players. But what's weird is that even though this is a place where a lot of people cross on this map, I don't think I've ever come to this room and it's been unlocked. So you can unlock it from either side and it's right up here. And the loot is actually pretty good. You've got one of the big uh, weapon containers, one of the small weapon containers, one of the really big containers. Uh, I have found multiple, multiple Reap IR thermal scopes on this table. And then right here, you have an intelligence spawn. So you can get all sorts of guns, you know, AS Vals, M4s, um, all sorts of weapon attachments. Uh, the big things really are, like I said, uh, Reap IR thermal scope can spawn right on that table, um, which can be, which is insanely valuable. Um, and then the intelligence fluctuates a lot in price. And then add all this, these attachments up and you're, you're almost always coming out with a pretty decent loot and you've got potential, you know, if you've get a reap IR that pays for the key almost twice and then everything else is just profit. This is not hit often. Um, you are going to have to do a little bit of combat to get here, but the key to the hep storage facility is an awesome key. So the second keys that we'll take a look at is the combination keys right here for the cottage. Um, these keys, so this is located, you know, you've got this little construction area right here. The, uh, resort is up here. This is the west side of the map. And if you're looking at the top down view of the map, you'll see this cluster of buildings and then like a little villa back there. And then on the, all the way on the other side, another one back there. So that's kind of how you locate it. If you're coming this way, it's this first one on the right. You'll come inside. Now it doesn't work on the front door. It's the back entrance. And I believe that the cottage, uh, key actually spawns right here. 
but but it's so cheap you can buy it if you can't find it but we'll unlock this back room now the cottage itself has some loot it has some like miscellaneous jackets um stuff like that there's not a whole lot downstairs um but if you head upstairs whoop um you've got a weapon kind of closet right here where weapons can spawn like dvls and shotguns you've got a computer so potential flash drive and graphics card spawn this is the this is a second safe so we have the key for a separate safe and this is an additional safe so we've got two uh safes in this building nothing else really in here and then in this room uh without even looting that safe yet there's another weapon locker right here where a gun can spawn some miscellaneous stuff and then the locked safe now the locked safes do not have any better loot pools uh, i'm almost positive um but it's just another safe so once again for less than sixty thousand rubles this building is basically never looted you get a weapons uh case a computer a safe a second weapons case and a second safe so there's definitely potential it feels like they've buffed safes recently i've been pulling a lot more like vases and stuff like that but definitely over time if you loot a lot of safes you'll definitely get some cool stuff i mean their loot table is pretty awesome between bitcoin um the skull rings gp coins uh sheriff eli badges vases lions cats all that kind of stuff and then miscellaneous rubles zeros and dollars in there as well so the cottage is a pretty pretty nifty place to loot so the third and final key is the rb smp key this is on reserve it's in the um white bishop building so you've got the dome this way you've got black knight back there you know over there is the helicopter and back here is k where uh scab boss swans the train station and stuff like that it's the building where the front of it kind of has the like shipping containers and all the weird stuff in the front um but if we run here in the back it's up on the second story and if you come up here it's on the left second door right here now this room spawns um miscellaneous medical items uh and a lot of times the value items here are going to be the stims so i've come in this room and seen one two three stims we've got more right here uh and then there's more spawns right there so even right here even just this which would be like a weaker one there's three stims which are really easy to just like put in your alpha beta gamma container if you've got the space and then once again this key i think this key was a hundred thousand rubles you know one or two runs where you get a few of these stims and you sell them to therapists and you can pay that off easily the other crazy thing about this room i haven't seen it but on the wiki it says that this room does have an ledx spawn um, I would assume it's probably right here on some of the shoreline uh, rooms where the LEDX is spawned. They spawn on like cabinets kind of like these. Um, but for once again, for 100,000 rubles, a room that you can kind of farm some stims. Once again, if you're this is just like anytime you run reserve, you can hit it. You'll start making some passive money. And then for the potential, even if it's a one in 100 chance that you can get an LEDX or something, which is a million rubles. And that's going to, you know, or 1.4, I think they're at right now that's going to easily pay off and then just kind of profit in the future. So yeah, that's RB SMP and that's the last key. So those are three uh, keys or combinations of keys that I think are pretty underrated in Escape from Tarkov. Uh, I hope that this helped. I hope that maybe this has just added another little loot path for you and you can start making some money off of these really affordable keys. Thank you all so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. Uh, if you like the video, think about dropping a like or subscribing for more content like this. I'm always trying to create content that shortens the learning curve of Escape from Tarkov and gets you in your raids having fun as soon as possible. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions about this video, if I missed something, uh, or if there's any guides you'd like to see me make here in the future. Thanks again for stopping by, and we'll see you all on the next one.